Hey, so we are less than four hours away from the launch attempt number two here of Artemis One. It's really hard to see it in the background, but I just wanted to share some of the interviews with the people from all around the world that came here. Some of them have been here since Monday. Some of them booked return flights to get back here because they are so excited to see this. And some of them are first timers like myself. So enjoy some of these interviews. So yes, unfortunately, the hydrogen leak hiccup has led to yet another scrub, but hopefully you enjoy this video anyway. I do want to share this video with you. I did spend the night in the Pier 220 parking lot. Um, I'm not going to lie, I barely slept. Part of that's excitement. Also, my time zones are all messed up, but I am excited to be here. And yeah, here are some people that I interviewed. Um, I ran into this gentleman last night. He was actually here Monday. He flew home to Ohio and then he just came back because this is so important for him to see. Came early on Sunday. Um, scoping out a spot, trying to find where I'm going to watch from. I knew this area was good. Um, I did some work on Flight Club IO, trying to plot it out where it was going to go, sun, every, all that. Um, walked up to the top of the bridge, oh, that's a good spot, I'll check it out. And these guys were up here, and I was like, well, I guess I can't leave now. You're going to watch my stuff, I'll watch yours, we'll just stay. I didn't intend to camp here. I had a hotel, canceled that, slept on a bridge in the middle of Florida. <laughs> Stop. Okay, is this your first launch or will it be? No, this is probably 16, 18, 20, somewhere in that range. I stopped counting. You're addicted. Been here for Deltas, Falcons. I miss the Falcon Heavy. I've been to Shuttle. Um, quite a few. So what, what made you come back? I mean, that's such a short notice. Return flight. Nah, we're going to the moon. It's a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. Yeah. What's your favorite? I've never seen a rocket launch myself. What's oh your favorite part? The the sound that you feel. <laughs> yeah. You you hear sound normally, but this is it's it hits you hard. It's in your chest. When was your first launch? Um, considering we have terrible timing, it probably wasn't until I was in my early twenties. Wow. I mean, we we vacation down here every year of our lives. I've been to Daytona every summer for 35 plus years oh and somehow we missed them every single time. I was never here to watch one just because we were on vacation. So it took trips like this two, three times down to actually see them. Wow. Did you get any sleep? Uh, yeah, a few hours. I looked at the clock, it was 11. I looked at it again, it was like 4.30. So I think I slept. <laughs> a little bit? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anything else you want to add just about like Artemis in particular? I just hope it goes. That's all. I don't know. I mean, programs, brand new we'll see what happens if they have to delay it are you just gonna stay here or what are you gonna do uh, i leave sunday morning i don't know if i can get a, i don't know if i can make it back hopefully this is a rollback so hopefully i won't have to stay and i can plan to come back again i also saw this woman painting so you know i had to go up to her and ask her what exactly she was doing why she was here and where she was from and you're painting out here uh what inspired you to come here uh we want to see the launch of the artemis and since we're going to be here for several hours, uh, why not paint? And so I'm a beginner, so I'm learning. And they say practice, practice, practice. So here I am practicing. <laughs> yeah. And you said you felt kind of the rumble of a launch before. We did. Uh, years ago, we stopped along the road and we saw the rocket go up. And you just could feel the vibration and the rumbling of the noise. It was just amazing. So uh, my husband, Nathan, wanted us to come today yeah. and see the launch of Artemis. Yeah, what inspires you about Artemis? Um, it's the largest, I believe, rocket ever. And um, just the amazing technology that we continue to advance. Um, so it'll just be amazing to, to view that from here and to feel the, the vibration, hear the noise, um, and watch it. So what are you painting? Just what um, we're looking at? Just some clouds. I'm doing a cloud study, so um, I'm new at plein air painting. Um, I got to go to the Adirondacks back in June and paint with some artists, and they tell me just to practice a lot outdoors and um, do what they call studies, where you just come out and you just play with the colors. You try to find colors in the paint, yeah. and then you 
um, my, the cloud keeps changing, so I had to take a picture of the cloud because <laughs> they keep moving with the wind. Right. So that's part of the challenge of uh, painting outdoors is the scenery changes very quickly with the wind. And so um, I'm having a great time. And then this guy's story really fascinated me. He is a filmmaker and he hasn't covered a lot of space launches, but he wanted to cover something inspiring. So what better than going back to the moon? This is not your first rodeo up here on the bridge. You were here Monday, you're yeah. back. What are you doing? Well, we're camping out to be in the best possible position to shoot the Artemis launch. And uh, we scouted around the whole area and figured out this was the best spot. It has a little bit of elevation, clear line of sight to the pad. And it's kind of the closest spot you can get that's off-site. So that's why we're here. Right, right. Yeah. Did you try to apply to be on-site? We did, yeah. But they said that there's so much attention for the launch, so many people coming in from other countries that they just couldn't accommodate. Right. So, But I was able to buy tickets, and my niece is wearing a GoPro on a space helmet at Kennedy Space Center for the launch. So I will get some vantage of it. And so tell people a little bit, you're not just here to witness the launch, you're actually like documenting this. Yeah, I mean, when they announced the, the launch date, I, I didn't really have a project in mind. I just had access to this cinema grade gear and thought, uh, I just wanted to shoot something inspiring yeah. for a change, you know? So it just felt like a good story. And just once in a lifetime images too. A beautiful location and just, you know, there hasn't been a rocket this big in a long time. So yeah. kind of kind of just couldn't pass it up. So are you planning to be at the Starship orbital launch? I don't know if I can plan that far ahead. Yeah. Uh, the, the gear is really expensive to rent, <laughs> and um, we'll see what happens. But people, I've noticed, like I haven't filmed too many space launches, but there are a lot of photographers here who, who do it all the time, yeah. and it seems to be addictive. So maybe once you see one, you just want to keep seeing them. So we'll see what happens. Will this be your first? I saw a shuttle launch when I was a young child. Okay. So okay. it's my first in a really long time. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. This will be my first first. So okay. what kind of people have you met so far? Gosh, honestly, people from everywhere. Uh, there's a guy, Ha, who's here from Wisconsin. And, you know, I, we met up with all these other photographers here. None of us knew each other before we got here. But on the first launch attempt, we all just kind of met up and started sort of pooling resources. And now we're sort of like the Fellowship of the Ring. Yeah. We're all going to get tattoos of Artemis somewhere <laughs> afterwards. So. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, just people from all over, not just Florida people. Right. There was a Belgian couple I met the other day. Um, oh. There was a couple from Spain that was down there for the first launch attempt with a bunch of kids that were very disappointed. Um, oh my gosh. So what have yeah. you done between Monday and today? Did you stay here? Did you? I popped back down to South Florida, but we got right back up here yeah. once they confirmed the time. Okay. Just because okay. um, you can't risk missing it, I guess. Yeah. And he even got me on camera for his film, so I'm excited to see how that turns out. Yeah, so my friend was actually here on Monday, and he says that it already has a different feel this morning. There's more of like a carnival-like atmosphere with people handing out waters and t-shirts and souvenirs. So, so I want to know where you guys are watching from, so leave that in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll have another update soon.